and the Wehrmacht had never been equipped for conditions like these. At night, the temperature would soon plummet to as low as minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Frostbite and disease had already begun to cause as many German casualties as the endless Russian counterattacks. Dead and wounded had reached 155,000 in three weeks. And the strength of the infantry divisions had fallen to 50%. Meanwhile, the bitter cold caused serious problems for weapons and vehicles. Guns failed as their recoil systems froze and engines had to be run every four hours, devouring fuel that was already in desperately short supply. Most disturbing of all for men who had always been able to count on protection from the air, conditions all too often grounded the Luftwaffe, while the Red Air Force seemed to grow more active as each day passed. On December the 1st, in the centre, the German 4th Army had launched a final massive effort to smash what defences remained in front of Moscow. Everything depended on the Russians having no reserves. However, for weeks, Zhukov had been denied reinforcements as Stalin had held back increasingly powerful reserve formations, including the bulk of the Siberian divisions and their armour. The strength of the defenders was now up to over half a million men. On December the 5th, Zhukov launched the reserves in a massive counter-attack. The Russian offensive was launched along a front 600 miles long. To the Germans, whose own offensive was being carried on with the last ounce of their strength, it came as a hideous shock. Along the entire length of the line, German armies were shattered into thousands of isolated units, fighting desperately for survival. The Battle of Moscow was lost, and with it, the German Wehrmacht had lost the battle for Russia, Although the Russians were strong enough to throw the Germans back from the gates of Moscow and liberate 11,000 towns and villages, they were still nowhere near capable of inflicting a decisive defeat on the invaders. A second counter-offensive in January stalled against increasingly solid German defences on a line still deep inside the Soviet Union. The battle for Russia had cost the German army a quarter of a million dead, half a million wounded, and most of its tanks. Hitler fired two field marshals and 35 generals, but nothing could change the fate to which Germany was now condemned. No new sources of oil or strategic materials had been won, and the Wehrmacht was embroiled in conflicts on two fronts. Worst of all, America had entered the war the previous December. Hitler now had to face the very thing he had been desperate to avoid from the start. Russia, Britain and the United States in an alliance Germany could never hope to defeat.